was here at the uh, Bio360 conference to educate people on biochar. Biochar is a word not many people have heard of, uh, but it's actually an ancient technology developed in many indigenous cultures around the world. And it can actually help deal with organic matter, which is excess from the production of crops. You can use residues from bioenergy production. It's basically taking biomass that is baked in an oxygen limited environment and turning it into a charcoal-like substance. The difference between charcoal and biochar is that we don't use it for cooking or heat. We preserve that carbon dioxide that's been sequestered in the biomass and we put it either in soils or other materials. Nowadays we're seeing biochar used in a growing number of ways. We're seeing it used for animal feed where it helps to improve feed conversion. It takes out some of the pesticides. We're seeing it used in filtration. It's a lot cheaper and more sustainable than activated carbon. We are seeing it used in building materials. Here's an example of biochar in bricks where we have 75% biochar. It's very light, very insulating. And we're also starting to see it get carbon credits. So uh, there's a growing interest. We're seeing a lot of producers in Europe, in Asia, in America. There's all sorts of different technologies, which I hope you will hear about in other videos. It can be scaled at many different levels, from very small to industrial scale, where people are producing 30,000 tons or more. The biochar industry is still very much in its infancy. I would say in the US, the market is still about 50,000 tons per year. Europe's probably similar. We are seeing a huge trajectory in growth rate right now. The interest is largely coming from different sources Sources, one of which is about climate change because it's one of the few scalable technologies that's ready right now uh, there's a lot more interest in investing in this kind of technology in the US however the, the focus is on reduction of organic matter we're trying to divert it from landfills I think we're going to start to see a huge area of growth so I've been in the biochar industry for eight years and we've seen a huge uptick since the IPCC recognized biochar as one of the six negative emissions technologies in 2018. And since that time, we're seeing an enormous amount of interest from the investment community in the biochar industry. So I think it's only going to go up from here. The amount of research on biochar has been growing exponentially, but if you'd like to get more research, you can get it at the International Biochar Initiative or the Biochar Journal. Thank you.